there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome back to episode 19 of my Diamond Dimensions mod pack survival. Hopefully you have been enjoying the mod pack since Sunday, it is now Wednesday and hopefully you've been enjoying version 2.0. If you've been having any troubles with it, some people will be getting black screens, you just need to uninstall the pack, that um, the version 1.0 and then reinstall it with 2.0. Just make sure if you want to keep your saves, you back them up first and that should be working very, very nicely. I've tested it out a few times on a few different computers and it's all good but today is not about that today is about the craziness that has happened in my world I've spent the past I don't know day or so at least a day um, maybe even two updating my world so that this series gets going a lot quicker so I've cut out loads of the building that would have taken easily three four maybe even five episodes to do so let's start with our farm so over there we've got Yes, we've got a blue sheep. We've got two sheep. These were cloned legally. We put these clones. We went, um, I think I went over to there to try and get them. I went over there, stabbed the sheep with a needle twice, which was pleasant. And then got two of these and dyed one of them blue because I needed blue wool in like specifically for something that I'll show you in a minute. Then we've also got our chicken, which is still here, and our little minecart system, which is still going and working very, very nicely. Far is still here working his ass off. He's got so much. Look at all that melon. That's all the melon I recently took off him, and now he's got a crap load more. Look at all these pumpkins. We've got. We're, we're going to be eating for days. I don't know why I'd need all those pumpkins though. That's a lot of pumpkin pie. So, the main update is to the house. The house was getting very cramped, very unorganized, and we needed a space to put our portals as well, which is going to be the main part of this episode. We're going to the Atom today, guys. Without a doubt, we're going to the Atom, and this is the extension to the house. So, originally, it was just the part on the left there that you can see, but now a whole two-floor extension, which is wider than the original, has been added. So, it doesn't... I'm, I'm not completely happy with the roof, but I just kind of mimicked the style of the one before, but it'll do. I, I'm pretty happy with the inside, so I'm not going to be changing it anytime soon. Let's go in here and see what's happened. So, look, most of the chests have gone. If you go straight across, we've got these really cool blinds thing which kind of change color and um pull down as well i'm just going to leave them half down for now i've got a kitchen sink which is actually really awesome if you take a bucket of water to it it will um just act as an unlimited supply of water which is really cool got a kitchen side here we've got a cooker and here we go guys we've got a washing machine now this thing is absolutely insane so as you can see i've repaired some of my armor already let's take these diamond boots i specifically kept these for you guys and now we just need coal in here and boots and we can actually do like all four bits of armor at the same time but all it takes is coal to repair your boots or any of our, any of your armor that's insane how amazing is that let me just turn down that sound quickly because i don't want that to be going through your ears but anyway how insane is that that's awesome we've got the fridge um down here i haven't got a freeze yet because we haven't come across a snow biome but over here is what i'm most proud of look how amazing this is we have used all of our signs and all of our chests. I've managed to put chests together by using trapped chests. As you can see, they've kind of got the, the red around the center there and when you close it as well. So I've got the valuables over here, which is pretty much what I had in my chest anyway. I've got random stuff up here, which I couldn't categorize. I've got camping cubots and DNA in here, which we'll be using later. Building materials, look how organized this is. I'm gonna be able to find everything hopefully. So this is the downstairs and I've moved the hopper which is collecting all the eggs into here which is awesome and it's so far collected 19 eggs. We're not going to need that many but it, it's awesome. It's the first automatic thing I've created in Minecraft in vanilla with vanilla items anyway. How awesome is that? That's really cool. Um, I'm really proud of this. Um, it's not like completely done. I'm not 100% happy with it by any means but we've got this sofa here which you can sit on and watch the TV. Um, what else have I done? I've made an upstairs. I moved the um, centrifuge down here. I've also got a furnace down here and then upstairs we, oh, we just have a bed. Yep, just the bed. So I haven't really decorated this room much apart from making these lamps, which are pretty expensive compared to just torches. But anyway, they work really nice and give a good light in the nighttime. But I just put this here because I don't really know what else to put in here. It's a fairly big room, so hopefully we can put some like, I was thinking like valuables and stuff from our travels. So we could use the Bibliocraft mod to put in stuff like, let's have a look here. What have we got? We've got, uh, have I passed it? Where are yeah, we've got all this stuff which looks awesome. It's like shelves, caskets, we've got armor stands, all that cool stuff which we could put in this room from our travels. So before I go to um, sorting out this new portal, let's just sleep quickly so I can take you outside. Actually, I should be able to take you outside already. It should be fine. So out here, 
um, we have got where I've decided to put the portals. So originally, I was going to put the portals upstairs, which is why the room is so big. But it didn't actually turn out to be big enough, unfortunately. So let's go out here. And here we are. That's what you can see on the map. It's a massive thing. Um, what would you even call this? Like a platform? A... Um, like a dock, something like that, that is holding all of our portals. Now, these aren't the portals ready-made. These are just um, templates. This is the Atom one. This is the either the Ice Dimension or the um, Nether Portal. Either or with these two, because they're both the same size. And then we've got the Twilight Forest one over here. So these are our four portals or spaces for them. And that is... That took me so long. This took so much wood. It's unreal. Wood, slabs, and wooden fence take forever. And building in water isn't fun at all, guys. But anyway, hope you enjoy this. This looks really cool from up here. Um, yeah, this took forever, but hopefully it looks really awesome. It looks really cool on the map. Anyway, that looks awesome. And one more change is upstairs, which we really do need to use right now, which is the bookcase kind of place, the enchanting space. Those are the words I'm looking for. So we've still got our um, furnace up here with a single piece of coal, which isn't going to be too helpful. But we've also got this. I'm missing one bookshelf um, to complete the, sy the symmetrical stuff, but I'm growing some sugar cane. I accidentally used it all, so I'm going to grow some of that. But we've got our enchanting table. I think it's good for up to like i did see one with 15 earlier which is awesome there's a 13 i did see a 15 earlier which is sweet and i might enchant some of this before we go to the atom so let's just sleep quickly and i think that's pretty much all of the house let's have another look at it from the outside i'm pretty happy with the sheep they look awesome oh god god stay back stay back don't be mucking up my mind system you little punk yeah, you stay back. Don't hurt any of the people down here. So that's the only issue with the minecart system, but it should kind of reboot itself after it's been attacked by various mobs. I did have a massive golem stuck in there once. One of the ones that killed us when we was in some of those massive dungeons. But anyway, that is pretty much the updates to the house. It took me so long to get all the materials for this, but I hope you enjoy it. I've got... I should have enough materials for the rest now, and now we need some sand so we can build our atom desert dimension portal which is going to be exciting that's the first dimension we're going to go to I'm not sure if i'm going to take a mini me just yet but um yeah we'll see if i can take one later on so what i'm looking for are loads of artifacts from that dimension to put in our bibliocraft places which we'll we'll look forward to later so what we've got to do with this is just simply this we just need how much do we need two four six eight 10 12 i think so we haven't got enough unfortunately let's go get some more sand let's do this let's visit far on the way he's doing an absolutely crazy good job at doing this so much melon i'm going to take some of this because i'm going to need it on my travels anyway but that is awesome it, it's a little slower because it doesn't regenerate as much as like steak and stuff like that but it's still pretty damn sweet so let's grab some of this and i'll be back in a second i think we only need um a couple more bits of sandstone right then that should be enough sand and now we just need to go ahead and make it oh god we need to make it into sandstone let's just do that quickly um grab this drag it around and there we go we've got 18 sandstone which is definitely enough now one thing i am forgetting is this thing that lights the portal or the thing that's going to allow us to go through the atom is the oh my god i completely forgot what it's called oh this is embarrassing it's like the the bug thing the scarab there we go the scarab now i don't know what i've done to my too many items but it's got this this little yellow banner around it now and i don't know how to get rid of it because it keeps blurring out my items so if you know how to get rid of that that would be awesome so this is what we need we need four gold and a diamond definitely got that so let's um go and grab those materials after we go and build the portal actually we'll do that first because it seems to make sense um Let's go and do this. So I've also added pressure plates. Someone else suggested that. Very good idea. Saving me tons of time getting in and out of my house. And here we go. Let's build our first portal of the series. This is insane. This has taken way too long. And finally, we are doing it. At least it was before episode 20. Well, well one episode before, um, I guess. Um, so let's put this down here. I hope I put it in the right place, actually. I might have done this wrong. Yes, I have. Let's take this one out. Come on. I should have noted where I put them blocks. What's wrong with me? Was that how I had it? Because it needs to be one in the middle as well. Let me just check. Um, honestly, I cannot remember. I think this might have been... Yeah, this, this is here. Let's do this. Let's move it along one like this. And that will be the final resting place of the Desert Dimension portal. Like that. And then we'll just put this one in the ground. Because you do need one in the ground. Oh, God. Why did I do that? There we go. The art of Rana. Rana is awesome. Let's do that. And then we need to build up one more. And then we need to go ahead and build up like this. It's pretty odd the way you have to build it. But 
that's that's the way you got to do it to get to the atom so let's put this one here 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 and that should be it after we take out these and now all we need is the scarab and the rest of our materials including our camping gear to go to the atom so let's do this we just need to grab i guess food i don't know if i do i want to enchant my stuff yet that was what i was going to do as well i think i'm going to now the downside of the washing machine there must be one because look at that it's finished it only took six coal to repair diamond boots there must be a downside so i'm thinking that the downside is it might wash off your enchantments if you have enchantments enabled so what i do have or what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab some of these. So I have Sharpness 5, which I'm definitely going to use. I've got a Fam Guide, Bane of Arthropods. I don't think I'll need that. Protection 3, I'm going to use as well. But actually, I need an Anvil for that. Can I afford an Anvil? I don't know. I don't know. Sharpness is really good, though. Let's go and see what enchantments we get on it in the first place. So I'm going to enchant my sword because I do have 57 levels, which is pretty crazy. And we should get to level 15 enchantments. I have seen a level 15, which is pretty good. So let's see what we get. We've got a level 12. Let's see if we can get a bit higher than that. 13. I have seen a 15. Come on, there's a 14. I'm just going to take the 14 for now. And we got looting 1, sharpness 2, and focus 1. That is pretty damn sweet. Now, I'm not going to enchant the pickaxe because I don't think it's really worth it for now. Because it's, it's, it's far gone the halfway mark. Now what else am I going to do? I guess I could go ahead and enchant my chest plate and my trousers as well. Let's go ahead and we've got a 10 in there. Another 10. Maybe 10 will be the highest. If I take a... Oh, a 13. Let's take that. Fire protection 1. That is actually very handy because in the atom dimension there is the pyramid where the last boss is. There are fire traps. So that's going to be crazy. Another fire protection 1. Awesome. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I could just enchant my my boots. I'm just going to keep going with this. I've got... What have I got? 13. P projectile protection is awesome as well. Wow, these are pretty sweet enchantments. Now I've got seven levels left to enchant my helmet. Let's go. We can do this. There we go. Seven. Gets us blast protection. So we've got fully enchanted armor, which is awesome. An enchanted sword, which has looting as well, which is really cool because we're going to be able to use that for getting some special items and now we just need to prepare our backpack for the items so let's also craft that thing that we need we need four gold so one two three four and a diamond and we also need to get rid of this sand get rid of this sandstone we're going to take the melons with us we're going to take some more food we've got lots of arrows this is looking good so far where did i put half those steaks let's grab these steaks because steaks are better food and we don't want to lose them all. What else have we got? What else have we got that we need? We, I don't think we need anything else. We can always come back. But we do need our tent, our camper's tool, and I seem to have misplaced the sleeping bag. Here we go. There's the sleeping bag. So that's awesome. We've got our tent set up. We should be good to go right now. Have we got a campfire? I don't think we do, but I think we've got enough food for now. We can always come back, as I said before. So yeah, let's go. And craft this little beetle thing, and then we will go ahead and go to the, the atom. This is this is really exciting. The first dimension, here's the golden scarab, and let's do this. We're going. We're going for it. Right into the atom. So this is awesome. Our first portal. How excited is everyone? Oh my god, I am I'm I'm incredibly excited. I don't know why I've got a book on me. This is a bit random. But we're gonna go in and see what kind of nasties lay on the other side. Let's right click and here we go. Oh my god. It actually used up the scarab as well. So um, you cost a diamond to get there. But let's do this. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's go. And next time I think I will bring a, um, a little minion with me. I think I can do that. I'm not 100% sure though. And here we go. The atom is ready for us. Oh my god, I'm here. So it looks like battle towers spawn here as well, which could be really awesome for when we kind of settle down our camp. We've got new woods. New floors. There's cube bots here as well. This is a bit more populated than I thought it would be. There are nasties absolutely everywhere. There are wraiths over there. There are mummies. Mummies. More mummies. Oh my god. Look at all these. These look nasty. So, where do we start? I guess we start by making a waypoint before we get absolutely destroyed. So, let's do that. If we go to M, waypoints, add. And it actually just does them by dimension, which is really cool. Let's go for portal, just so we know where we are. 
And let's get going on this. Let's go and do some exploring. So we're going to, I think I'm going to head over here because there is a little bit of a, a ruins here. Now the ruins in the atom dimension do carry some really nice loot when you've destroyed all of the, um, the monsters around it. So that doesn't look like there's too many monsters around it just yet. So we can see if we can get in. Nope, there's mummies coming after us. They have 40 health. Get out of here. God. Oh, look at the damage we're doing with this thing. Oh my god, we've got iron, we've got strange sand, flax seeds, and a dirty ring. Um, I'm not sure what we can do with that. The mummy, stay away. This is not nice. Stay away. We're doing 11 damage with this sword. Wow, that is pretty damn sweet. Let's get rid of this Wraith now. He's got 10 health. One shot kill with a diamond sword. Oh, what are they? They don't look too happy. They are archers. Oh my god, a desert. <laughs> oh my god. We one shot that as well. That had 16 health. I kind of need to rid this whole place of nasties. Look how many things there are. We're going to get destroyed out here. They're, oh no, I've attracted their attention. That was a bad idea. Stay back. Stay back. I've got a bow and arrow and I'm not afraid to use it. Which way is it going to come? Ugh, a forsaken. What are you? Stay back. Hopefully I'll get some cool loots. Um, we need to get rid of that archer right now. Not, not from you today, sir. And we've got a tomb guard, another wraith. We're actually holding our ground pretty well. Because these guys are meant to hit hard, actually. And we've got some nice loot from there. We're getting more emerald shards, cloth scraps, where we can make some new cool armor just for the sake of it. Just to wear it and fit in, I guess. Um, what are we going to do from here? There's like a little pyramid thing here. I think that is a kind of ruin. The bigger pyramids where the boss is, which is the pharaoh, are a little bit bigger than that. So we're going to have to look out for those. So yeah, let's carry on this. I don't think I'm going to do any battle towers here. I did not realize that they spawned here. That's pretty crazy. But I do need to get rid of all of this stuff. So I need to kind of pick a way to go. I think I want to go towards that, which looks fairly interesting. And it looks like there is a spawner behind it, but I'm not sure if I can destroy it or not. Come on, please tell me I can destroy it. Please tell me I can destroy it. It doesn't look like I can destroy it. That is not fair. Stay away from me, mummy. What is wrong with you? Right, I'm going to eat up, and then we should be good to go. Um, oh god, he's coming for me. He's coming for me. What are you? You're a brigand. Hopefully you drop your sword. Give me it. Give me your sword. Oh, he dropped a golden nugget. That's pretty awesome. Um, I do want to get rid of this, though. Is there any way to... Oh, yes, we did it. We did it. It is just a normal chest, so that is awesome. Um, oh god, there's things jumping out everywhere. It looks like we've got rid of that spawner, which is really cool. And some more emerald shards for us. This archer guy is going to be a pain in the butt, so let's get rid of him. Luckily, it's a two-shot. Let's snipe these guys quickly. Ugh. There we go. Look at that. Oh, the other guy got in the way. Oh, no. What's behind me? These wolves. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't snipe my thing. There we go. There is so much around here. I... Oh, my God. This is a bad... Oh, God. I didn't realize... I'm glad I came with all these enchantments. I need to get rid of these archers, though. These are getting a bit in the way. No, sir, no, no. Their shot is really good. Maybe I should change to a different fam guide, but I think I left my fam guide at home, which is no good. So let's take these guys out. And then we should have a clear field this way. Stay out of here. What are these? Tomb guards. 80 health. My God. I think they do hit very hard as well. Oh, we've got arrows. Absolutely. There's one in our ear. Oh, God. That is not good. That is not good at all. That's funny, though. That is really funny. Right, then. To this mini kind of... There's another, like, treasure kind of... um, What are they called? Ruins over there. But I, I'm really intrigued by this mini pyramid here. But look at all the nasties. My God. Maybe there's a spawner nearby. These wolves. Oh, God. They're fast. No. No. At least they're very weak. Because they... <laughs> Did you see how fast that was? Oh, my God. It's like Grimm's desert counterpart. Take him out. Hopefully, he's not watching. Because, um... Well, that might be his friend, but anyway, um, let's, let's carry on. Can we mine this? No, we can't. So there must be a door to it somewhere. These are really fast as well. Get away from me, sir. Wow. Wow. This is really interesting. I'm glad we can... Oh, God. I've got something. I've got weakness, possibly, and slowness. Not when I'm... Not getting... Oh, ah! I can't even get my words out. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. What have I got? Okay, I've, I've been left alone. That is awesome. Right, where's the door to this place? There must be a door somewhere. Stay away from me. I want some epic loots. Please show me the loots. Um, there's no door around here. But I can't mine this. I know that is a feature of the mod, that these places can't be, like, mined. You have to just find the door. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to find the door. Please show me the door. Maybe I'm going to have to mine around it a little bit. It might... Yeah, it's generated in the world. This could be... Oh my god, this could be one that's just underground. 
There's no way I can do a boss fight right now. No, no way. I can't do that right now. Is there any reason my diamond sword is going down in durability quite quickly? That was almost full when I started, but it might just be me. I'm not sure. I am using it more than normal, but we need to take all of these guys out. Maybe I should have brought a little minion with me. You know, it, it probably would have helped. I'm cornering myself with all these guys with very sharp swords. Oh, God, this is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Right. I'm going to make base near the portal then, I think, because that's... Seen They're spawning everywhere. How can you even make a safe place around here when they just spawn where you've been? Oh, God, I think I've chosen the most dangerous one to start with. Oh, God, unless there's a spawner nearby, there could be. I don't know how you stop them. Oh, there's there's so many different kind of ones here. Get out of here, you punk. Um, oh god. I've got ectoplasm. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. Wolf pelt. These guys. Oh god, I need to eat. No, they're fighting each other. Awesome. That is what I want to see. You just you just you just sort it out between you, my friends. Look at all these mummies. They're just like they're spawning really really quickly. I'm worried about my diamond sword breaking. I really am. I don't know why it's happening. There looks like there's some new kind of trees over there. And it looks like there's a kind of like a tomb where we can get some more loot from as well. So I think I'm going to make my way over to some of those while these guys are kind of hitting each other, I guess. Oh my god, there's so much here. <laughs> no wonder my sword is going down. I'm like destroying everything. It might be those tomb guards that are taking all of my... Oh god, these guys are running around everywhere. Stay away. They're really quick. These are as quick as the wolves. I don't know how to sort out the rate that these are spawning at. They're spawning everywhere. I, I, how am I going to settle down when these guys are everywhere? My god. My god. Maybe this is just going to have to be a dimension where... Oh, you killed the other guy. That is pleasant. There we go. Right in the right in the leg there. Look at that. That was beautiful. So it looks like this could be a dimension that we just visit when we want to loot things and then go home. It does not look like a nice place to be at all. Are you going to come after me? Yeah, you're really slow though. Right, this looks like another looting space, so let's do this. Get back, mummy. Get back. Right, we've got gold, we've got dates, some seeds, so we've got more stuff for Far to start working his, like, magic on. That's pretty cool. Some more chests, which would have been useful when I was making all of that stuff at home. A battle tower. I don't really want to go to the battle tower just yet, so let's do some looting. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go all the way past these guys, jump over these bad boys. There's a ghoul on the top of that tree. That's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> oh, there's lots of ruins everywhere. That one looks a bit a bit bigger, or there's just two together. Either way, it looks awesome. Get away from me. No, I'm in... <laughs> no! Why are there three? They spawned underneath my feet. This is going to be an absolutely epic one to try and defeat the boss of. My god, they're just everything's attacking me. I guess that's what I asked for, really. Let's just use the other sword against this. Just to see if the durability goes down a little bit quicker. Um, it does take me longer to kill them, though. Oh, God. Right. We've got bread, flax seeds, um, a scepter. That's that's not bad, I guess. But it looks like we're getting some really cool loots from here. Right. This guy needs to go. Get out of here, you brigand. He should drop his sword rarely as well. I'm pretty sure he does. Oh god, this is this is epic. Look at this sword fight we're getting in. Little practice. Get out of here, you Oh my god, he affected me with something. Right. We got some brooches, we got some more strange sand and whatever that was. I didn't even see that. I think it was just a, an emerald. It were okay. We're actually getting pretty full already. We've got loads of strange sand and we could make a quick trip backwards. What is that? I I don't know if I've seen that guy yet. He is a warlord. Let's take this bad boy out. I should eat first. Right, let's eat. Check that nothing is, is sneaking up on us. And then take this guy out. I'm going to get you right in the head, sir. There we go. Stay back. I don't care. <laughs> I'm getting you right in the head. These arrows are doing decent damage to him. I saw a 10. I'm pretty sure I saw a 10. Now we can take him out. There we oh, no. That's a camping bag. I need my sword. There we go. Die, warlord. We're not getting any of their drops. Please give me drops. Ah, oh, come on. Right, these guys are pretty... They're pretty hard to take down, and you don't want to get too close to them because they will hit you very hard. I don't know what the ectoplasm is for. There's other things around here. There's a nether tower. Just back... Oh, God. <laughs> this is getting really, really out of hand. No, I'm shooting you with an arrow. These are tricky. What is that over there? It's like... Oh, I thought it was a chest. It's just a guy in a tree. It's just a guy in a tree. Right. Let's get this loot. And then we should see what... Oh my god, there's diamonds in there. 
Awesome. We got some diamonds. Not that we needed them, I guess, but it's better than having none. Oh, God. There's seriously so many mobs around here. I should have brought a little minion with me. Damn. I don't know if they do actually transport dimensions or not. Oh, my God. Look at these. They are fighting each other, though, which is sweet. And I need to go and uncover... Right, let's go and uncover the pyramid and see if we will actually have a chance to fight the boss. Oh, God. The portal is over here. I'm just going to... I'm just going to peg it. Just in case... Oh, God. No. 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 Alright, stay back. I'll get rid of you. I'll get rid of you. I want his... I want his sword, though. He can drop it, but it must be a very rare drop if he's not dropped it yet. We've killed plenty of those. Oh, no. They're coming after me. Come on, eat the melon. Eat the melon. And run. <laughs> right, where's my portal? There it is. I was running away from it. Alright, let's make it back over there. Because we know there's a pyramid there. And that is where the pharaoh lies. Which is pretty sweet. And it is full, absolutely full, of traps. Um, especially fire ones. So it's really decent that we've got that fire protection stuff going on. Oh my god, there's normal mobs to deal with now that we've walked past that. This is not good. It's turning to night. There are mummies everywhere. Oh god. Where is that pyramid gone? It's over. Oh god, I, I walked straight into him. I was looking over the top of his head. Right, let's at least try and uncover where the entrance is because I'm not sure how long this episode's gone on for so far. Take you out. At least we've got this ectoplasm. I'm not going to lie, I don't know what it does just yet. But I, if I get a chance to stand still, I will check quickly. Oh my god, I need to press U. It actually creates bottle of enchanting. That is really, really handy. That is handy. Oh my god, it looks like we need to kind of clear where it is. And then dig around it. Oh, this is scary. Look at all these mobs that are going to... Oh, oh, God. No. Stay back. This is taking so much durability out of my sword. It's a really good sword as well. I, I'm going to have to make an anvil and repair it to keep the enchantments. I'm going to have to. Because I've got enough diamonds to do so. I don't want to risk it in like... I think you can use the dishwasher to repair your tools. But I do not want to risk that. That is um, going to be a problem. Oh, God. There's more. There's more. Of course there's more. Stay back. I just want to find the entrance to your king's castle. I'm not doing any harm just yet. And here comes another guy. Come on, just give me give me some space. I just need some space. These guys really do hit very, very hard. Right. Is there anything else around me? Q-bots, protect me. You did nothing before, so you need to protect me now. Right, let's dig through here. This this stone is actually taking quite a long time with pickaxe, and it looks a diamond pickaxe, sorry, and it looks like it does get affected by gravity too. So we've reached the end of the pyramid here. Surely it's got to be in the middle somewhere. It must. Oh, oh God! I have. Oh God! These guys are really annoying because they're easy to kill, but they take so much energy. They take so much. Um. Well, they have so much health, and it doesn't help when the mummy is getting on the party as well. What's wrong with you? Stay away. I'm going up some decent levels. I had zero levels when I started this, but now I have 25. That is sweet. Let's get rid of these. Oh, God. I'm scared. I'm worried. I really do want to find the entrance to end off this episode. I'm pretty sure we've been going for 25 minutes at least by now. But there has been some epic stuff going on. We finally went to another dimension. No, it's not even here. Where is the entrance to this castle thing? The pyramid. Why am I calling it a castle? I know there is just like a one by one door or a one by two door, but I'm not sure where it is. Come on, we need to dig this out. Okay, it looks like it's going even further down. How can it even be going this far? It's really rooted down in here. My god. And it doesn't help that this actually... Maybe it needs a spade. I don't have a spade though. Maybe it does. I'm not sure. Right, let's take this out. So this out. It's still going down. It's still going down. Because I do remember these to be absolutely massive. Yeah, this is more like it. So this looks like it is the... Just like the the bottom of the pyramid. And it's going really far down. Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't think I brought any torches with me. That's bad. But I'm full up on this wretched sand stuff. But hopefully we'll find the entrance and then we can make it on our way home. Go and get some torches and saddle up for this, which, what should be an epic boss battle. Oh, have we, have we reached the end? What is through here? Oh, I think I found it. I used the raised minimap and I think I found the entrance. Oh, God. Oh, God, this is scary. If I can dig my way up. There we go. We found it. Awesome. This could be just one of two entrances, actually. Oh, God. Yep. I think this might just be used for sand. Um, there, there we go. I've, I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. 
<laughs> anyway, let's get this out of the way. Now we have found the entrance. That is awesome. All right, let's get rid of this. I can't tell which is going to be the sand bit. Oh my god, this is going to take ages to get out. Hopefully Rana can help us. Just a little bit more, and I should be able to get out. And now I should be able to see where I am. Right, we're just to the side of it, so I should be able to remember that for next time. Let's make a run for the portal. Come on, we can make it. And then we can end the episode and equip ourselves for the Pharaoh battle. I didn't think this would happen so quickly, but we can go and see if we can get one of them epic artifacts. Oh god, this is awesome. Right, here we are. We're back. Oh my god, we're actually back. Um, that was pretty crazy. I didn't expect it to be anything like that. Um, there's so much spawning around. I don't know how to slow down the spawning, but next time we are going to be able to go into the Atom and take on the Pharaoh's, um, the Pharaoh's Pyramid. So that's going to be pretty awesome. I hope you enjoyed, um, the updates to the house and the world. They will be going on while we are exploring the new dimensions. But number one of the four dimensions in currently in this mod pack are starting to be explored. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, everyone. If you did, then please leave a like and I will continue to make it. It's twice a week still, so the next episode will be on Sunday. You seem to be really enjoying it as well. And now we are getting to the, the, the decent stuff. We're getting to the dimensions in the Diamond Dimensions. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't been new to the channel. And again, leave a like if you did enjoy. So from me and the brand new house, it is goodbye.